Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just the other day, I made a video on using color mapping when you're engraving. And I did it in the vector mode. And today, I did one in the raster mode. Because I never had to have really used it in the raster mode. So I did, I just made some half inch blocks and I used red, which is, if you can see right down here, I'm using uh, RGB colors. So red is 255, blue is blue 255, yellow is red 255 and green 255, and then the green is green 255. So you need to use your primary colors or it would be a lot easier to use your primary colors when you're doing this. And here's the end result, and the pictures aren't all that great, but because they ran at different speeds, they're different depths, and it's a pretty neat effect. You, uh, you, there's a lot of possibilities for this. Um, you know, because I've in the past tried to change, you know, ones from red, or not red, from black to 90% black, 80% black, and on down the scale. And then you run them all at the same time without color mapping, and they all pretty much came out the same. Because it's it's still, you know, running it all the time. Where this, it actually ran them in different configurations or different times. It would run the red first um, and run it at, you know, I think I had it at 50 speed. And uh, so when you get to color mapping, you just go, you know, like you're going to print and just go up to your print icon and under preferences you go to color mapping and right here you need to click color mapping and that brings it up and then you wouldn't have to turn these on or off but we're not going to vector so we're going to turn that off and it plays around a little bit around with this and you can actually have air assist but i don't know if this is actually going to control it or not but you can see my red is 255 so that's the color so on red this morning, I ran it at a hundred power and 50 speed. All you have to do is click this arrow and it changes it over there. The blue I did it and I really got them too close together, but you just click on the blue here and you see the blue is 55 and I ran it a hundred power at 90 speed. And then you just click over here and it puts it over there. Then on the green, I ran it at, I'm looking at some notes. I ran it at 100 power at 70 speed. And so on and so on. So you just cursor up to 70 or you could actually type in 70 in there. But then you hit OK. And you you don't need to do anything else. All you need to do is press OK. And I'm not going to press OK because I don't have a laser hooked up to this laptop. But you get a really cool effect. Um, you know, you could do various things, and the pictures do it no justice. It's a little, actually a little cooler looking in person than this. It almost looks like they're laid in there like tile. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.